All right, so this is the only chance that I got, guys. Um, what's going on, Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. It's been really crazy at work here today, uh, but I want to go ahead and start the live stream, so let's just get right into it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I usually do this with new GPUs that come out if I can even get my hands on it. Um, as you can hear from that notification, work is going ham. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this up on your screen. You should be able to see it. Let me put it towards the top so I'm not blocking it. Bottom left-hand corner, we got the kilowatt meter. Oh, matter of fact, let's make a note of that. All right, so look, let's look at the kilowatt meter. Kilowatt meter uh, while system idle because software is always going to show you a different number. So uh, I would say we're about 140, maybe 145. Um, and I actually doing some math. If, if we if if we say 150, showing 140 is what, is what I saw. But I also saw 150 in the past. Right now it's only doing 135. Uh, capturing from the laptop, and of course when we kick it up and start mining. You can see an MSI afterburner. I already have some presets in there. Uh, I got the stock clocks already, stock stock clocks and everything. We're gonna see about 44 mega hash uh, with the clocks that I have right now. It's 48 mega hash. Uh, again, just gonna try to blow through this as much as possible. I'll see if I can keep an eye on chat. And I'm putting it behind the damn kilowatt meter again. Let me move it up. Bumped into a lot of issues yesterday. <clears throat> a couple of key points I want to show you guys here. But let's look at the kilowatt meter. Uh, so as you can see, we jumped up from 140 to, uh, I would say, another 145 watts, thereabouts. Even though if you look on screen at the ASIC power, this is where you want to look. And hardware info, the latest version, GPU ASIC power, it's about 20 watt, 20 watt shy um, of what the kilowatt meter is providing. So if you don't have a kilowatt meter and you just have hardware info, you can technically... Um, you can technically just, uh, actually, let me move this down some. Make sure you guys can see all this. I probably look like crap, and I do apologize. Again, working, not really worried about my looks. I care about data and information. That's what I'm trying to get to you guys. Uh, so ASIC power is right here. You can see it's pulling, like, it says 123, 122, somewhere in there. Usually, I like to hit this little reset clock right down here while the miner miner is running so that way we could see uh, the average over time of course the hash rate isn't hitting 48 mega hash because I'm doing stuff on it right we got the MSI after burner hardware info on the right screen I got my document and everything uh, as I do with all GPUs I get all the content and data together and then go from there now those temps are kind of concerning that fan should be pushing a little bit higher I don't know why it's not pushing a little bit higher I like to set an aggressive fan curve. Let's see if this will help out. Just a little bit. Yeah. I didn't see thermal pads on the back side of this GPU. Um, matter of fact, I got some footage I can show you guys here in a minute. Uh, but I hope you all are doing well. Right below me, we see the GPU temperature. Let me go up one. So you see the GPU temperature. This is an RX 6700 XT, bottom left kilowatt meter, and there we are, 48 mega hash until I move stuff around. Let me check live chat real quick, say what's up to everybody. Roman, what's up, man? Chan coin. Old school gamer. Stat Nor? Is that how I say your name? S-T-I and Nor? I'm not sure how I pronounce that correctly. But thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Yeah, 145 watts is it's what it's looking like. Where is Igor's lab thing for a 6700 XT? So the more power tool and everything has been updated, but it, it you got to be careful with that uh, because as soon as you try to apply something, it will break the core clock. Uh, no new updates yet. I'm not sure if AMD asked Igor not to do anything or what, but we'll have to see. Wait and see. Uh, doing 46.6 mega hash on my RX 6900 rig and high OS. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good job, good job. So you're getting 46, uh, 47 to 49 in Windows with fast timings. Okay, what he's talking about, and that was something I wanted to, to bring up in this video. I try not to take up too much of your time because, again, matter of fact, let me check work real quick. All right, we're Gucci. We're Gucci for right now. Um, all right, so 47, 48 mega hash. There you see it again. It was sustained 48 mega hash or thereabouts, like the, the, the low 48s. 
if I'm not doing anything with the system. Uh, right now the core clock's at uh, 2050, and obviously when you set the core clock for an AMD GPU, it doesn't run exactly at those, those clocks. Um, it will be a little bit lower. Uh, and then the memory is maxed out at 2150. And this is with my current setup uh, voltage. Let's see here, core voltage is at 0.863 millivolts. Um, or 0 0.863 volts. Now, if we stop this real quick, this is Phoenix Miner, of course. If we stop this real quick and go to what he's talking about with fast timings, if we go over here to performance, and now this is gonna overwrite my, uh, my MSI settings, but you could also do it in here. He's talking about when you go to VRAM tuning and go to fast timing, you can get some extra hash rate. So we're gonna go ahead and bump this up to 2150. I actually have a default profile. Let's see if it works. So this is actually from the 6800. Unable to load settings, yeah. So it won't, it won't do it because it's from the 6800. Um, I always choose the advanced section, as I mentioned before. We're gonna go down to 2050. We're gonna bring the voltage down to, what did I put it last time? Shoot. I think I had it all the way down to 950 or 850, something like that. Uh, power tuning I don't mess with and then obviously fan tuning uh, I like to get a little bit aggressive with it now stay tuned to the channel for updated videos um, I will have a summary video on the mining performance of the RX 68 6700 XT excuse me but uh, there's a couple of pitfalls that I'm bumping into or that users may bump into that I don't think anybody's covered yet um, so stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell notification to, to stay up to date with that info. But there we go. We got AMD utility or the Radeon software set up. A con about the AMD GPUs over the NVIDIA GPUs is that unfortunately, um, like you can't really use the system while it's mining. Whereas NVIDIA GPUs, at least I can use the system while it's mining. Uh, yeah, the hash rate goes down, but it doesn't look so choppy. It doesn't get chopped up and stuff like that. Uh, that's one of the benefits. It's obviously driver. Maybe it, maybe it could be hardware, but I think it's really driver. AMD drivers and the driver team isn't as robust as NVIDIA. But yeah, anyways. All right, so you guys look like you're good to go. You're hearing me just fine. Audio's good. All right, cool. Let's just blow through this. So that way I can get back to work. Got a lot of things to do. All right, so we hit 58.58 already while multitasking on the computer. Same clocks and everything, just by adding fast timings. Now, to me, the price of this GPU, unless you could get the, the reference edition at 479, does not make this GPU an attractive offer. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'd rather get the 5700, 5700 XT models uh, versus the 6000 series, uh, unless you can get a really good deal or at MSRP or lower. Um, maybe maybe 15% over MSRP, it still might be attractive, but to me, the 6000 series isn't really as attractive. And uh, this is just a reiteration of RDNA 1. You know, this is RDNA 2, but it's just a reiteration. We saw a big jump, obviously, going from Vega to the RX uh, 5000 series. Um, and to me, this is kind of like a refresh of a node. So, uh, and I, I probably said that wrong. If, if I did, correct me in the comments, but it's pretty much a refresh. We might see a dramatic improvement with the next generation of GPUs, but who's to say? Because NVIDIA, or excuse me, AMD, well, both AMD and NVIDIA are trying to handicap miners by doing certain things, right? NVIDIA tried to lock us out with the driver that messed that up because they released a dev driver that unlocked it anyways. Um, and then AMD is, is playing the hardware game where they're locking us using the, the bus width and the bandwidth of the GPUs itself. And there's no way to mod that or get around that, unfortunately, uh, unless you're really good and, and know how to, you know, desolder the chips, the memory chips and, and resolder them back on. But um, yeah. This is the game that we're gonna have to play. Uh, 5000 series is still very attractive to me, so we'll see how it goes. So 48.58 is seems like a good number. I would say 48.5, 48.6. Yeah, I say 48.5. Obviously, I need to do some more testing off screen where I, you guys aren't 
drawing uh, from my system, uh, which will probably show better hash rates. Now, just to show you stock real quick, just so you guys can see it, because again, that was not stock. I'm gonna reset everything and I'm gonna start it back up. And we get to see that now the OpenCL kernels for this Phoenix miner is GFX 1031. And the, the other ones, the 5700 is 1010, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's 1010. GFX 1010 is the kernel that they load for Phoenix miner. Tricore at 1150, mem at 2150 fast, millivolts at 650. Okay, so we could get the power down. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna do a bunch of testing in the background. Uh, the big key components though that I want to show. Let's just go through the stock default settings and then go through everything and, and see how it performs. Let me check something here. I'm getting messages. Bear with me. Yeah, I won't have time. I would have waited till Saturday to do this, but I have caffeine and crypto after Red Panda Mining, and then after that, we got the Aeon Poker Tournament. Make sure you guys sign up. It's going to be some fun there. Uh, I look forward to it. And there was really no time for me to do it. My wife is off, uh, so I, only, I really can only record and stream when my wife is working because uh, I don't have a studio. So this was the best time to do it, and unfortunately, it's during my work hours, so it kind of sucks. Uh, with fast timings enabled... I forgot that that's enabled. It should be around 44 mega hash. I need to disable that. Hang on one second. Let me see if it disabled. Nope. Automatic. So anyways, yeah, 44 mega hash. Now, let's just move on because we don't I don't want to waste too much time. Here's the thing. Not everything works. Okay? Not everything works yet. Um Here's the GPU if you guys want to check it out. Got some B-roll for you guys uh, that I'll cut into the, the final video at some point in time later. Um, let's mute that. But not all miners support the 6700 XT. They may run on the 6800, but they may not run on the 6, uh, 6700 XT. So just be mindful of that. Um, the cooler is pretty decent. It's a dual slot design. So you can fit it in a case. You can probably fit two of them in a, in a computer case, maybe three, depending on your motherboard. Um, pretty cool backplate. It's got the cutout, just like all the other new GPUs at the back side of the uh, PCB, or excuse me, back side of the backplate. Well, and PCB, it's shorter uh, to flow the hair, the hair, the air out and uh, and upwards, uh, whether it's in a case or into the next GPU uh, if it's on a mining rig. Obviously. Uh, triple display port and one HDMI uh, Pretty decent card. Like I said dual slot design, so it doesn't take up as much space the, the 6800 is really uh, The beefy boy. So here's some team red miner and of course Did my antivirus remove everything hang on one second I think my antivirus removed everything I hate it when it does that Let's see if Team Red Miner on Ethereum will work. This is just a stock batch file. And again, I'm gonna test everything later. <laughs> Hair dryer GPU. Um, I'm gonna test everything offline when I get time. Uh, just bear with me and I'll have a summary video as soon as I can uh, just to show you something real quick here let me see if I can find it where'd I put it where'd I put it so if we look at this picture not all algos are supported okay maybe there's new updated algos that awesome Iron doesn't have uh, which I will I'll grab and test again offline uh, but Equihash uh, 25.4, uh, 44.5, um, 192.7. Let's see, what else? Obviously, Ethereum, Kapow, 
with Team Red Miner. Wild Rig Miner does not work. LOL Miner, or at least the older version, doesn't work. Not sure if they come out with a new one. Uh, looks like Nano Miner worked. NB Miner worked. Claymore obviously didn't because that, that thing's dead. Um, and it really depends on the algo. Not all algos were able to work, obviously. With new GPUs, the, the minor devs got to update the kernels and everything. So anyways, yeah, you saw how that was choppy just there. That's the bad thing about AMD GPUs. If this was an NVIDIA GPU, I'll be able to multitask while doing everything. Um, so 43, 44 mega hash with Team Red Miner, pretty much the exact same thing. Obviously, I was doing stuff on there. Plus, I'm connected to the EU pool when I should be connected to a, a US-based pool. But again, I'm just trying to blow through this testing for you guys um, or just showing you some live performance. Um, big snafu, all right? Big snafu here. Let me show Dojo real quick. Is that, all right, so I have a mixed NVIDIA rig and I have a mixed AMD rig. The big snafu is with the new AMD drivers, which you need to run not only the RX 6800, but the 6800 XT, the RX 590 will not work. It, it, it has a kernel error, meaning like it can't load the kernel. And in order to load that kernel, in order to run that GPU along with the 5700s, I have to go back to a previous driver but the problem with that is, is then I can't run the 6700 or 6800 XT. I'm not sure why that is, why AMD is, is uh, not taking old uh, driver revisions that, that make the RX 580 and, and older GPUs work with the newer GPUs. But unfortunately, I can't get the system to, like, so like you gotta build an entire system, a mining rig, just for the 6000 series GPUs. And, and you could put 5000s in there, but you can't put the previous old school generation or Polaris cards in the same rig because it bumps into an issue. Now, I haven't tried it on Hive OS. Maybe it might be a different story, but yeah, that's kind of annoying. So yeah. now I can't run. I got two cards that I can't run with my, fi my 5000 series unless I take out the 590. I really don't want to take out the 590 because that's 30 mega hash at, at 90 watts. That's really... You know, that's the reason why the, the 580s and stuff like that have lasted for such a long time. It's an 8-gig card. So, unfortunately, in order for me to run the 67 and 6800 in that system, I'm going to have to take the 590 out. I'll probably do that. Maybe I'll try Hive OS and stuff like that. But that's kind of annoying. That's just a little bit annoying to me. Um, all right. Anyways, moving on. Uh, so, yeah. Team Red Miner showing the same mega hash. 44 stock. Probably 48. 48.5 with the fast timings and maxed out. Of course, like... Um, our boy uh, old school gamer recommended I could always drop the core clock and voltage down a little bit more. Let's look at MTP. Let's see if MTP will load. And of course, no, it's not. What's going on? Okay. All right. All right. We're, we're still chilling. We're still chilling. Um, any questions for me? Drop in. AMD is dropping cards as we speak. Good job. All right, go get them. Go get them. Um, honestly, Roman, I prefer NVIDIA 2. Knowing what I've been dealing with. Okay, MTP is working. It's just I don't have uh, enable compute mode to fix, which doesn't really matter with these GPUs. There is no, unlike the 580 and stuff like that, there is no compute mode. I'm pretty sure I could enter in that command or run the batch file for it, but it's unlike the the, 480, the 580s and the 480s and stuff like that when you go into the AMD Radeon settings there's no compute mode or anything like that whatsoever um, well we're getting this letting this get up to speed 3.73 mega hash is not bad though what's the power draw at Three sixty-eight minus four one forty. That's two twenty. Two twenty. Two hundred watts. Wait. Yeah. So three sixty minus one forty. Looks like two twenty. 
software is only showing 180 something from the wall it's saying 220 I'll get the final number of my summary but that, that looks about 200 watts stock about 200 watts stock mining MTP at 3.8 mega hash obviously with this algorithm we want to let it run for a while in is Phoenix Miner your main aim for AMD cards? Team Red Miner is my main. I use Phoenix Miner every once in a while. Um, but Phoenix Miner is still one of, one of my, my go-to for mining with AMD GPUs. It is. I'm not going to believe nice hash stupidity when they freaked out because they were idiots. And a lot of people get that twisted about me. I made a video about a nice hash beginner's guide. doesn't mean... Like, I, in that video, too, I, I actually recommend direct mining. That Like, I prefer direct mining. I do not prefer nice hash, but I prefer direct mining. And everybody's, like, you know, kind of a little bit short with me when it comes to that. The good news is, is you can mine MTP. I think on some GPUs, I couldn't even do that. What miner am I on? Team Red Miner, 8.0. 8.1.1. Let me write this down real quick, guys. Bear with me. Actually, no, oh, it is right here. Okay. So what do we say? 3.7. 3.74. 3.7. At 200. And what's the core clock at? 220 watts. So 2654 is stock. And then 2000 is obviously with some mem tuning, we could probably get this up a little bit higher, but we're just looking at the stock results for right now. Stock results for right now, guys. Stay tuned to the channel for an actual uh, summary video. Let me go ahead and save this. All right, so let's see what else we can do. Let's see if, um... nope, that didn't work. I'm doing, uh, try, I was trying to do grin. Uh, let's see, let's see. All righty then. Look at Kapow real quick, if it will let us. Oh, by the way, this live stream is sponsored by dogelord.com. If you guys want to check them out, then So yeah, if you're interested in buying any merch, a lot of good merchants or, or crypto channels are down there or on dogelord.com. Feel free to check them out down in the description below. Um, some new products and designs coming to you, at least from my collection soon. So FYI. All right, so Kapow is showing 18.5 uh, to 18.88. Obviously, Kapow is one of those algos that you really want to let run. Um, so quit spamming, Doge Lord. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah, you really want to let it run so it can finalize and settle. But yeah. All right. Jumped up to 22 something mega hash. Good deal. Temperatures are getting pretty hot, but the memory is sustaining. Uh, with memory, especially GDR5, a 5X, 6, 6X, um, you really want to stay away from the upper 90s and 100s. Uh, obviously with the 3080 series we saw a lot of GPUs have issues in thermal throttle so just uh, keep that in mind even with this GPUs or future GPUs we want to keep those memory thermals down that's why all manufacturers should be using thermal pads on the back side of the PCB but of course they haven't so whatever uh, thanks for the one person that stopped by and then left you have a good day take care of yourselves like I said still working just doing this to help you guys out on my lunch break so I'm not even eating I haven't eaten yet things I do for you guys um but yeah so this team red miner still let me make sure I notate this actually it's 18 
team red minor. 0 0.8.1.1. Point all right, all right. Um, so, where's it at? Kapow. Let's carry over the stock clocks and everything. What's the wattage at? Somebody tell me the wattage. Oh, wait, you can't talk to me. I mean, you could talk to me, but I can't hear it. Um, all right, so same da 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 da. I'm gonna say 22.6 for right now. Wattage looks like ASIC is about the same, so 220 is what it looks like. 220, yeah. Obviously, like I do with all my content, I get a summary video out, I data dump on Reddit, and then I would share the link on Twitter and various outlets to help you out, like uh, Voscoin Talk. So if you're just looking for the good bits and just want to get to the point, stay tuned for that summary video. Keep an eye on my Twitter page where I will link it, um, and you can just go straight to that information. But as it stands, based on the data that we have from other miners and people who already had the 6800 XT, because I'm late to the party because I couldn't get my hands on the GPU, um, the 6800 XT, uh, 6700XT is not really, a, again, attractive card. It's really not. Maybe the 6800, um, if you can get it at a lower price or, or near MSRP or somewhere around it, uh, that might be attractive. The 6900 XT is meh to me. Um, but really the only one that I really... I thought the 6700 XT was going to be the best until they put a 192-bit bus. Then I was very upset or very distraught. Um, but anyways, yeah. So there we go. So Kapow stock, 22.65, somewhere around there. So I put 22.6. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. What are we mining here? What is this? That doesn't work. Did E if we did MTP. Um, all right, let's move on. So the next one I got here is G miner. Let's see if it will mine Aeon. It can't initialize, so it can't mine Aeon. All right, there we go. Let's try Eternity. Can't initialize, unfortunate. Uh, let's try Beam. Can't initialize. Jeez, Louise. Device not supported for this algorithm. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, it's doing ETH, so maybe we can take a look at ETC. If anybody is interested in that. Ethereum Classic. Classic. Let me check work bear with me real quick i probably got only a few a few minutes left in this live stream but i appreciate everybody the, the the 14 16 20 of you that came and hung out for a little bit um again i would have done an appropriate stream on a saturday with plenty of time uh but you know we got a very important event that i'm uh, i'm very excited for with the aeon poker tournament coming up make sure you sign up uh, and you know my live show that normally happens every Saturday around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time anyways caffeine and crypto it comes on after Red Panda so Saturday is already booked wife's home there's no way I'm gonna inconvenience her anymore um, so yeah this is what you guys get sorry sorry Nice, so you got a 6700. What? Which model did you get, Tains? Which model did you get? What software are you using to check algos on different cards? What software are you use to check algos on different cards? Well, I just download the individual miners, uh, old school gamer. I just download the individual miners, the latest version, and then I run through them. Um, in the picture that I showed you earlier, that's awesome miner, but awesome miner doesn't always get the latest, latest, latest version. Um, so 
you can use that if you want to just kind of do like an all-in-one benchmark instead of having to download all this stuff. But yeah, I just go to the GitHub, Team Red Miner, TRX Miner, whatever it may be, uh, Phoenix Miner, and, and, and get the latest version. So that way we have the appropriate kernels and then just test from there. Are you guys in my Discord? I do have my Discord link um, in the membership tab. You have to sign up or join in order to join the Discord, but sometimes I do some random stuff. I will try. Yashnik has an army of sharks around him. Like there's a couple of the Aeon crew that, that are sharks and they will, they will wreck you in poker. So yeah, I will try. I mean, the pot's really high, man. Look at the price of Aeon right now. Um, it's probably even higher today. But, yeah, man, the pot's... That's a good pot. That's a good pot right there. Um, you get 500 for knocking me out. You get 500 for knocking out Red Panda. Various prizes, shirts, stuff like that as you knock out individuals in a poker tournament. So, honestly, there, there's there's a high probability um, of, of people doing good. Um, obviously, the more people it is, the harder it is. But, yeah. Uh-oh. I just got mentioned. Sweet. So I work for a website company. Um, I can't specify which one, but I work for a website company. My job is to handle things that hit the fan. When things hit the fan, clients are upset. My job is to de-escalate, mitigate, resolve issues. Um, it's an all right job. Uh, I'm more of a tech person. I used to be director uh, of IT or information technology for uh, schools here in my local area for various companies. Um, so it's kind of a demotion, but I'm okay with it. So like I'm still near the, the top, but I'm not the top. So it's kind of a catch 22. There's times where I'm on call, which most IT positions are, you know, right? You, you, you have to be on call uh, most of the time. So 45.12 looks like where we're sitting right now for ETC hash. Let me write this down real quick. Again, this is default timings. And this is on G minor. Uh, let's see here. So G minor, what version is this? G minor 2.50. Uh, and this is ETC, Ethereum Classic. All right, got that saved. Let's save this real quick. Let me check out what's going on. We're gonna switch on to the next one. Again, this is all stock default clocks. Uh, there's a bunch of tuning that we can do. I will have that in the summary video along with all my data posted online through various outlets. So Grin32, can't initialize. All right, I'm not gonna keep moving that window over if it, if it can't work. I'm just gonna keep going until I find the next one that works. Swap doesn't work. Let's try Zellcash. Uh-oh, we got a winner. Flux in the house. Let's see what Flux can do. I see somebody tag me. If you want to get my attention, please tag me or send me a super chat, whichever you can afford to do to get my attention. And I will try to be there as soon as possible. Uh, give me one sec. All right, so Flux. Flux. So... And we are on 2.50. All right, let's see what the hash rate shows. Let's check the power real quick. About the same. So stock, it's like 220. Stock power draw, like not changing anything. 220 seems to be where it's at. Obviously, we can get that down you know, to around 145 watts, but uh, probably even lower than that. Temps are really high because we're running at stock clocks. Yeah, sir, there might be a close. I gotta call this client. Let me check some things here. Thank you for your patience, everybody. Everybody who supports the channel, I really appreciate it. You guys know that I got a lot of things to do, full-time job and stuff like that, so 
can you come to Miami and help me set up a 12 GPU rig? Roman, um, unfortunately I can't, especially right now. Um, but if I was in that area, I would let you know. Matter of fact, anytime I go somewhere and I'm, I'm near a certain area, uh, I usually would post it on Twitter. So if you, you follow me on Twitter or you connect with me on Twitter, you will know when I'm in that area and, and or plan to be in that area and maybe we can link up or something like that. I do want to have a crypto convention here in North Jacksonville or North Florida um, where everybody comes out, has a few beers, has a good time uh, just to chat, you know, talk about cryptocurrency, crypto mining, whatever it may be, uh, keeping it professional. But uh, that's yet to be determined, so we'll have to see. But yeah, sorry, not right now, bud. So what's up, Crypto Mikel? Asus Tough Gaming, Rion. Nice. That's a good GPU. So the Asus Tough on the AMD and NVIDIA side are actually really damn good GPUs, to be completely honest. All right. So still not a lot of algos to support, to support supported, supported, supported on uh, this, uh, this GPU. Obviously, driver revisions are going to be coming. There's going to be uh, multiple updates that come out in the future so we just have to be patient the more power tool is available matter of fact let's see here I don't have more power tool installed I forgot to reset this computer um, I will play around with the more power tool right this GPU has a dual BIOS I'm gonna back up both sides of the BIOS uh, just to have that safe and sound and I would do some playing around if you were too worried about doing it yourself let me take the grenade for you guys and then i will let you know my data my information uh, again probably in the summary video and then you can make a determination on whether or not it's worth it yada 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 the reason the 5700 series could really uh is so attractive even now is the fact that with igor's lab more power tool the red bios editor we're able to extend the limits of these gpus quite far actually and easily uh, a standard GPU, even a 5700 non-XT, can get close to 56 mega hash, maybe 54 to 56, somewhere in there. Uh, and then some of the XT models can get uh, up to 62, not all GPUs, but up to 62 mega hash, anywhere from 56 to 62 mega hash, depending on, you know, the silicon lottery and yada, yada, yada. So it's really good to see that the uh, RX 5700 series is still kicking, kicking rear and taking names. Um, and it's still a very attractive card to have uh, now with this algo the power did drop down a little bit not much to write home about but it did drop down a little bit okay maybe not from the kilowatt meter software is reporting in a different story but yeah yeah so Zell is mineable ethereum of course ethereum classic mtp or feral Ferro, um kapow those are currently what we're able to mine with this gpu now I know Son of a Tech did do a video uh, on the 6700 XT. I have not seen it, but again, I would get my data together for you guys and then kind of go from there. Um, XMR stack, XMR rig. I have the old version of XMR stack. I don't think there's an updated version. I have to go and look. But I was trying to look for any other miner. Let's see, NB miner. So peak temps, we saw were 78. All right, so MB Miner is trying to load up something for Conflux. Let's see if it can actually work. Let's see if it can actually work. So Conflux is on MB Miner. What version is this? I probably need to get the latest version, to be honest. All right, somebody set me up. I got to hurry up. Minor 3.36.1. Doesn't really look like, I don't know, 28.7 mega hash. Yeah, it's utilizing the GPU. Same wattage too, 220 stock. It's almost 225 stock. Let's look at this. Wow. Yeah, the Conflux is a little bit more resource or energy intensive. It almost looks like 225 watt stock from the wall. Even though the software, yeah. It's very weird. So when we're mining Ethereum, it's 20 watts short off of the kilowatt meter. 
but when it's mining the other algorithms, it's 40 watts off. Huh. One thing I give AMD, besides my uh, stream going to crap, I'm not sure why I'm, dro I'm dropping connection. Uh, probably because I'm connected to work stuff. Um, yeah, we probably need to end the stream soon. But yeah, so one thing I give AMD is t testing and tuning with those GPUs are a little bit more fun. It's really granular, and it's, it's like uh, if you're a car guy, right? You're tuning your your car, right? You want to get the best air fuel mix. You want to make sure that everything's right, timing, all that stuff. AMD GPUs take a lot of detailed timing, right? Getting the getting the core clock right, getting the voltage right, getting the memory right. Uh, whereas Nvidia is kind of a set it and forget it, right? You drop the TDP 70, 75, 60, depending on which GPU it is. Uh, sometimes 50%. Uh, and TDP, by the way, is power limit. And then you know you set the core, you set the mem, boom, done. That's it, uh, and, and it, it will boost. And GPU uh, precision boost 3.0 is really good. Uh, AMD, it's it's a little bit more in, in involved as far as overclocking and tuning and stuff like that. And again, their drivers aren't as robust as Nvidia's, which is why you can't really use uh, your system while you're mining on AMD cards. Whereas Nvidia cards you can. Um, as well, obviously the issue where I bumped into which is I can't mine on my RX 590 with my 5000 series and the 6000 series GPUs all in one rig. There's an issue there. Uh, I, people have been able to run successfully with mixed rigs, both with Nvidia and AMD. Uh, but obviously, you know, there's issues with just all AMD, just between the 6000 series and the five the the polaris cards now another thing i bumped into is when i did take the 590 off even still the miner would not detect the 6000 series i think it was just driver issues i did do ddu and stuff like that i don't know it's gonna take some more playing around uh but the 6800 would not show up even though it showed up on this system with the same driver right so i installed the same driver on on my mining rig as i did on this system it still wouldn't show up and the 6700 XT still wouldn't show up. So it, it could be a number of things, right? Maybe the PCIe slots being silly. Maybe the splitters being silly. Uh, maybe the drivers just need to be reset again. Maybe I need to do, I don't know. It could be a number of things. Something in the BIOS or UEFI where I get an adjustment. You know, it, 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 it's weird. Uh, whereas Nvidia, you get a bunch of GPUs, mixed or not, put them in there, get the driver, boom, good to go. Like I, you could still run, I can still run my 980 Ti in the same mining rig with the new 3000 series and have no issues whereas amd there's issues so it's it's really um unfortunate but you know what can you do i just wish amd would would you know give us more how can i say it give us more capabilities over our gpus don't don't lock it down amd there's no need to lock it down all right you don't need to lock it down at the hardware level uh i understand how people feel uh regarding you know unfortunately the current predicament with miners and stuff like that you want to like prevent game you know gamers from not being able to get gpus but we're gonna get gpus either way and and somebody like me you don't need to worry about amd i literally have one of each card each model of card or i try to and that's it i'm not buying your entire pallet i'm not buying your entire stock i know there's people out there that do and i'm, I'm, I'm it's unfortunate i'm sorry but realistically you're getting a profit and you don't care so don't act like you do care all of a sudden just because gamers are hitting you up on twitter uh same thing for nvidia nvidia will be like yeah we support gamers and then turn around and have trucks going out the back like, don't lie, bro. Don't lie. Like, you ain't fooling nobody, cuz. Go somewhere with that. Anyways, I just went on a little tangent there. Uh, work is calling me. Let's see here. Their mail quota is 3 gigabytes in PCP. What? No, we need to fix that. Yes, please. Plus with 30 gigs. 
All right, yeah, I, my attention is getting distracted. My attention is being drawn drawn to work, guys. I gotta go. Um, let me see here. So yeah, summary. RX 6700 XT is not fully supported on all uh, algorithms or miners just yet. Uh, there will probably be future updates that will come out. There's more tuning that can be done with this GPU. I will have a summary video with all that information and, and provide it to you guys. Um, if there is something that comes out with the more power tool in which I'm able to extend the lead of this GPU, I would certainly do it. Uh, I would share data with you guys. Bear in mind, I, ha I haven't bumped into anybody that's trying to run the 6000 series on Hive yet, or at least the 6800. The 6700, our boy just told us about in the live chat. But the 60, the, excuse me, the 6700 he just told us about, but the 6800 I haven't. And that those settings of people in the community are looking for. So if you can, go to that video where the, the mining uh, hash rates at the RX 6800, go to that video and share your core clock, mem, voltage, and power draw. So that way the community can see that because we do have some people in the, that are asking questions about mining with that GPU in Hive. Um, I have not tested either in Hive, so I can't speak to it. But I would try to do my best to get this data to you uh, in a timely manner as soon as possible. I'm super busy, but I appreciate your patience. Continue to stay up to date with the channel by subscribing, hitting the bell notification, following me on Twitter. Uh, we do obviously have Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that, but I'm most active on Twitter. There is a Discord, but you got to join down below in order to get in uh, just to kind of discourage bots and mitigate them. Every now and then during a live stream, I might drop a Discord link. So if you want to, just keep an eye on the, the links to the live stream. And that's pretty much it. Um, just hang tight for me, guys. I appreciate it. Can you enlarge so I can screenshot? What were you What were you trying to look at? The Zell? Or Conflux? Because I was on Conflux, Crypto Mikel. And I got to get going. What do, you, what do you need? Diga me. So the Discord link is hidden, old school gamer. You got to hit join down below, and then there you go, and then go to the community tab. Um, let me do this real quick for our boy. Oh, you got it. Okay. All right. So this is this is Zell again on two miners. Um, yeah. All right. Good deal. So you guys got it. Good deal, Jeffrey. Good deal. Thank you for stopping by. Stream is stream is cutting out on me. Um, again, I'm connected to work stuff, so I got to get going. I will catch you guys later. Do me a favor on the way out. Hit subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment down below after the live stream gets posted, and I will catch you guys later. Take care.